Hope Restoration South Sudan, HRSS, is a non-government organization in South Sudan with programs that help to support communities in their needs. Hope Restoration is one of the national organizations in South Sudan. Particularly, it's a women's rights organization that has been in operation from 2010 up to now, nearly 12 years. And much of our activities have been mostly around protection. So we have couples of activities that we've been implementing. UNHCR has continued to support refugees in South Sudan for the longest time possible, with evidence of support needed by the population in Unity State. UNHCR funded hope restoration to carry out programs that will provide short and long-term solutions to these problems. The UNHCR funding has enabled HRSS conduct a number of activities to help the affected populations in Ler, Mayendit, and Panija. Since 2018, we've had a, a project with UNHCR, which is protection and assistance to IDPs and monitoring of spontaneous refugees' returns. That project cover three locations. That is Slayer, uh, Panjajar, and Mayandit. If you look at the state of the uh, vulnerabilities in the, in, the, in the unity state, especially the southern unity where we are, uh, we, we are, we are doing the response, there are quite a number of uh, huge or massive displacement of population through flooding as a result of the recent conflicts that we had in April. Uh, if you move around, you see there are a lot of IDP camps, the, 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 the TPA is full with these people, and therefore there are so many gaps. With the rise of IDP camps, HRSS had a role to play in protection, camp coordination, refugee monitoring, and GPV awareness. Our role in camps are uh, camp management, of which in camp management uh, we, we do data management and camp profile as well, uh, as well as uh, tracking of the uh, influx of the IDPs that are coming to the IDP camp in Lair TPA, as well as other IDP camp within Lair County, and as well as in Southern Unity as well, in Mayandit and Panjajar as well. The communities have testified that HRSS services came at the right moment and have made them resilient and empowered them with skills to help them to sustain their livelihoods. The L1 project is an emergency quick response project that helps the displaced communities have a comfortable life even though displaced. L1 project we are doing the cash transfer, that is, we are doing cash-based intervention where we are giving uh, money to unconditional cash to our PSNs, and this one has actually helped them. We have also provided uh, distributed CRI called relief items to them. Uh, we are also doing the shelters, temporary shelters, for those who have been displaced by uh, funding. And uh, UNHCR has been very instrumental in this because they have provided. For us, we are doing the, sh uh, the structure and then we are getting the plastic sheets from, from them so that we now do the temporary shelter. So these are the major three uh, activities or three components within the ROI activity that are uh, main project that we are implementing. And currently we are at halfway. Actually, uh, we are anticipating to have completed the project by the end of either December or January within this short period. Yeah.
Massilam, Jigran, oh, dear Cone Rodadu, Brother Codu. The new Kaja and Wana, Matama Guama, the red long, Lodger Tezek along, and Manaza Maguama got on you code. He lodger, said Jaco, but quite. The L1 project has registered support to the displaced people in a number of ways, hence reducing issues that would arise when the displaced people are not controlled. In the protection monitoring, I do also, I do train uh, police and, and the chiefs on the human rights uh, and child rights also, including case management. Uh, whenever they can get the case, they can refer it to Hope Restoration, also to us, to, to MSF Hospital, to UNIDO, to other agencies that are making services that are available within. And we train them with a referral pathway so that they can know where to refer the case in case it happens. <laughs> The camp coordinator testifies that with their efficient system, the people are happy with HRSS's intervention in these communities. Uh, we have managed to at least uh, uh, put structures in place. This, the structures that I mean are the shelters. We have managed to at least give the most vulnerable uh, people that are living in the camp shelters of which uh, their living standard has changed. There are a number of people returning to their counties that they had previously fled due to the crisis. This is the information desk for uh, returnees uh, monitoring, whereby hope restoration and units here are tracking the spontaneous refugee returnees that are returning back from uh, uh, countries of asylum like Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia and Sudan. So uh, immediately when uh, the returnees are being received at the port here, we used to repair them and uh, guide them on the areas whereby are uh, on the areas which are advisable for the returnees to return to. The areas like uh, Lerton, Pilen, Tonyor, and uh, some part uh, of the country which are safe for the refugees, returnees, uh, we do repair them to such location for their safety and again as well as to for their resettlement. These people are received, registered, resettled, and monitored. We repair those. We support those who are in need of a, a in need of a, a NFI shelters. We we involve them when there's identification of a PSN. We in, include them into the list as a beneficiaries. So when there's identification of CBI, also they are the very people who are given priorities because they came from the country of asylum, empty-handed. Then they came with anything, without anything in their hand. So they qualify to be included into such a support. Uh. <laughs> All these activities face a number of challenges and setbacks, but our team always has strategies for mitigation in place. 
we have uh, inaccessibility. Uh, this is due to the road, uh, due to the poor road network. Uh, there are more people that are living in in informal uh, setting of which we need our service as a CCCM uh, uh, agency, but we are not able to reach them due to uh, in uh, due to poor road uh, network. In take a good example, we have location like uh, Tochiria. was uh, one of the biggest uh, IDP camp in Southern Unity during the crisis until uh, April incident uh, that happened between uh, between the county of Mayandit, Lair and uh, and Koch, whereby the IDPs that were living in in uh, in Tochiria were displaced due to that uh, incident. Actually, the government, the Hope Restoration and, uh, and uh, UNHCR, who is our, in partnership with Hope Restoration, are really taking the responsibility. And also the community are aware of the accountability. Whenever there are cases, they have to also be accountable and they are also taking the responsibilities. When I came to LER, uh, we had a lot of stigma in women. The trauma was high and um, the women were not able to access the centre due to cultural beliefs and uh, practices. So since I came, I've seen women are coming to the center. They are happy, as you can see, talking, interacting. They did not have this platform. Mm. Akin ke shoba si te shur min de sha gru nga ni wonga ka bo nga nang ka ni wonga nang nga kwa wonga nga nga ra ka wonga nga nga na ire ang bakel bo ka te ka ile nga wo ko nien ka ilon ka ka wo ko but ka ilon ka min se le ular ka duor ka war ular ka e shang ka war ka akin me ya su ka lani ka wonga lo nyu abin me abin wonga bi je nyu ro wan mo ji hop ya nga je ri adu mu ya ji ngan bar ore na Man yang nga mana re mi jia ga jia du ka ngan bara re na ya i jia jia ya i le dia jia ya nga ka na ka na. Yu ka teng i ya da na ka re pa ka ngua ni ma ni wu ya ro re ma na ya fa le wu di ro re na ku ngan ya te re wu mu di ma jia la ga ma to ka kan ka nga ha du ma lo na wu di ro re wu. In this center we've been offering or we do offer psychosocial support to GB fee survivors and uh, at the same time women are trained on uh, various skills. I hope I can make a call. I can connect the container to the water. Lord, I tell you, I hope so. I hear my idea through. 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 Okay. Uh, this is one of the house that Hope Restoration constructed in partnership with UNHCR in 2020. Uh, in uh, Lair County, we were able to construct 35 houses. So this is one of the houses we constructed. Kaya onong pi, kaya onong jer, jen yigwa ako, kaya onong wal, churon. The success of these programs have made both the organization and communities testify that the society is empowered and ready to sustain their livelihoods. Hope restoration, hope for the vulnerable. I actually came from school, but I didn't have anything to start, but hope help me out with some money. So I start my own business. One, let me show you. I got to sell this to, for two to women and also plant their hair. This is one of the ladies who benefited from the cash for GBV survivors. 
uh, uh, women at risk of GBV. And she has been able uh, to get some income that uh, now she's supporting herself. And plus she's focusing on going to university. So this will help her also uh, continue with the education. Hope restoration uh, is in the ranking now in our humanitarian fund here in Lair. Uh, so um, we really appreciate that because uh, when they do some things, okay, they do it and you will see that one. They just, they, they are not co just consuming the money without anything doing. I really appreciate the UNHCR helping them, uh, they're helping the, 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 the op restoration for the construction and the rest of activities. I want to tell them that uh, just attend your program to help them. Were it not for our partners, UNHCR will not be able to do what we have done today. Special thanks to them and we hope and look forward that we are going to partner in this kind of uh, you know, engagement so that we are able to, uh, to, to respond positively to the, to, our P, to the PSNs and the persons of concern because those are our business. <laughs> Don't let them go.